Hi, I'm Julie. Today I'm going to talk to you about three main things. So the problem with antibiotic resistance, our need to find an alternative, and how tiny viruses known as phage could be our saviours. So antibiotics are medicines we use to treat bacterial infections in humans, plants and in animals. However, because of our excessive and sometimes inappropriate use of these drugs, we have allowed bacteria to develop resistance to them, even the hard-hitting guys, the Chuck Norris of antibiotics. This is a serious change to our health. Over 700,000 people die each year as a result of antibiotic resistance. We need to find an alternative therapy. People are dying from diseases we used to treat with antibiotics. People are dying from diseases we could have cured in a matter of days. If this continues, 10 million people are set to die each year by 2050. That exceeds the current death rate from cancer. But we have a solution. This solution isn't a new one. It was found nearly 100 years ago. It involves bacteriophage, or phages as they're commonly known. These are tiny viruses that can infect and destroy bacteria without affecting us humans. As I said, they've been around for almost a century, but they've never taken off in the Western world. Behind the Iron Curtain, scientists never had access to antibiotics, so they had to find an alternative. And what they found were these phage. How this works is that a phage will bind the specific bacterium, invade it, and then hijack the machinery of the bacteria to force it to make more phage. For every one phage that infects, 10 million new phage are made. These then force the bacteria to burst and hunt and kill more bacteria. Now, for every bacteria in the world, there is a matching phage. Finding this matching pair isn't always easy, but it's what my research involves. What I'm trying to do is find phage we could use to treat bacterial infections that antibiotics no longer cure. This is known as phage therapy. It may never completely replace antibiotics, but it could be used in conjunction with or as a last resort. Phage therapy is already saving lives. In 2016, Tom Patterson was dying from a bacterial infection that antibiotics no longer cured. He was dying, but his wife Stephanie, she never gave up. She read about phage therapy and she fought to get it to her husband. He received two doses of phage and within a few days, he awoke from his coma and recognized his eldest daughter. Today, Tom and Stephanie are at the forefront of teaching people about phage. We need to understand the basic biology of phage in order to save more people like Tom and to overcome antibiotic resistance. Modern medicine is set for a revolution, a phage-based renaissance. Thanks. <laughs>